Hey guys, how's it going? Joster here. So this time I finally finished putting together one of the best screens you could get for an ultra short throw laser projector. In my case, I have the Vava 4K HDR projector. I did a video on this a few months ago. I will leave a card or a link in the description if you want to learn more about it. And even though it produces a beautiful image, I knew I needed a proper screen for it. So first I tried a white screen I bought on Amazon and it did improve the picture quality but it degraded a lot with a tiny bit of ambient light and with some daylight it looked even worse. So I went on a quest looking for the proper screen for my projector and I found two things. This type of screens are very expensive. They start from $1,250 from Elite Screens available on Amazon and also Screen Innovations has them for $3,400 for 110 inch size. Honestly, these prices got me worried because the projector costs $2,000 or a little bit over $2,000 alone and it just doesn't make any sense to pay so much more for a screen. The second thing is that these screens are very hard to find. This is a very special screen designed for ultra short throw laser projectors, which light comes from the bottom instead of the front facing traditional projector. It absorbs 93% of ambient light and it provides a bright and more vivid picture. It has a gain of 0 0.8 and 160 degree viewing angle. In other words guys, this looks amazing even with daylight. That's where XY screens comes in. The 100 inch costs $800 and the 80 inch costs $650 and that's including shipping. So that makes a lot more sense. I placed the order and it took around 12 days for the screen to arrive. It comes in a large box and is very well protected. Inside there are three more boxes plus the hardware and tools needed for the installation. Inside those boxes you'll find the inner and outer frame. And finally the screen which is inside a cylinder shaped box and is very well protected. Before the installation, be sure to have enough space because this is a large screen. The installation is very easy. You start with the inner frame, you set the brackets and the screws provided. Then you place the frame on top of the screen. Make sure the corners are aligned to the corner cuts. Then you insert the support bars into the four sides of the fabric. After that, you will continue with the springs to hold the screen. You will need to start in the middle and you will need help from someone to install the springs simultaneously, at least the ones in the middle. This is how the screen looks after that. Then it's time for the outer frame. You'll start by using the brackets provided and it has to be tight. So what I did, I pre-installed the screws, held the frame as tight as I could and finished tightening up the screws. Oh yeah, and then this. I finally finished putting it together and I'm telling you guys, it looks fantastic. Oh my goodness, beautiful picture. And right now it's uh, I have it on a dark environment even though there's some sunlight still coming through my blinds right here in sunny San Diego and the image looks beautiful. Let me turn on the light. I'm gonna turn on the light so you guys can see if there's any difference. There you go. I turn on the light right here and the picture still looks vibrant. There's enough contrast, looks beautiful. So. Let me open up the blinds. This is during the day. It's very bright outside. So the blinds are open now. And look at this picture. It still looks fantastic. All right, guys. So I have the screen right here. And on top, on the left corners, I have three different samples. So right here on the top left, I have one. It's called the Grid. This is another type of ambient light reflection screen that they have. It looks pretty, it looks actually very close, very amazing. 
good contrast, good color vibrancy and everything. Then right here in the middle, I have the white, regular white PVC, just like the screen that I first bought from Amazon. And as you guys can see, the colors, they look a little bit more washed out. Feels a little bit brighter than the other ones, but it's just like the whole colors look, everything just looked washed out. Then over here I have the gray screen. This is just a regular gray screen. It's great for colors and contrast as well, but it's, I, I still feel it's not as good as my regular screen. Now let me turn on the lights to see if there's any difference. And there you go. So this is how it looks with the lights on. The regular screen that I have looks beautiful, the colors and everything. And I feel the same with the grid. Still the grid looks really good and i think the grid is great for overall like projectors ultra short throw and front facing projectors because it has a grid it doesn't have just a regular angle right here the white screen the colors look definitely the worst the contrast looks pretty washed out and the gray still looks okay but it's not comparable to the regular screen right over here so that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. This is such an amazing screen. I'm gonna leave a link to the website, xyscreens.com. You guys wanna learn more information, check them out right over there. I think it's totally worth it. I love this new screen. Thank you so much for stopping by guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you have any questions. This vessels, they also feel good. Has some texture, fabric right there. This is definitely top, one of the top screens available right now. Let me turn off the light again. Jesus, ready to relax. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.